So before you got to my video, you probably saw either a couple other videos on the Law of Attraction or you saw someone post something about it. Either way, you probably have an idea of what the Law of Attraction is. But I'm here to tell you it's possibly not what you think or it probably does not work in the way that you think. Even more, it probably doesn't work in the way that some other people have um, presented it to you. So here's my point of view on how it actually works and how it may actually work for you. First, let's talk about what the Law of Attraction is. You can find some of the basic concepts in the book, The Secret. But if you don't have the time or not really interested in reading an entire book on the Law of Attraction, here's a little summary of the concept. I apologize in advance for those of you who are extremely well versed in the area of the Law of Attraction, but here's a snippet of my understanding of the concept. In the Law of Attraction, you attract to you what you think about or meditate on regularly. For instance, if I meditate or think about a career that I want, at some uncertain point in time, I will see that career become my own personal reality. Or also, it works in this way. If I desire a certain career, but all I can think about is how I don't already have it or how it's going to be so difficult to obtain, I will either never see that career come to fruition or I will delay it with my negative thoughts on obtaining it. These things that I mentioned, you can call these methods for attracting or not attracting what it is you desire. But there is also another method for attracting the thing that you desire. And this is the method that I will be focusing on in this video. If you're familiar with the Law of Attraction, this will sound familiar to you. But stick around because I have a different or maybe not so popular take on it. This method that I'm referring to is called detachment. So in order to use the detachment theory, you must detach yourself from feeling like you need your desire to come true. Which for me, it's like, well, how the heck am I supposed to do that? Because for me, if I have a desire, then doesn't that automatically mean I have a need for that thing to manifest in my life? So initially, I was confused. And I wanted to call the whole theory on the law of attraction bananas and not worth my time. Because it just didn't make sense that I would try to not care about the thing I wanted anymore just to hope somehow I would get it anyway. Like really, I just didn't. It just didn't make any sense until I started looking more into the concept of synchronicity. And this is where my understanding of how the law of attraction could actually work in a way that made sense to me. So real quick, here's what synchronicity is and how it works for manifesting the things you desire. Whereas they say, the rubber meets the road when it comes to seeing the law of attraction really work in your life. Synchronicity is when things begin to start aligning in your life. Placing one foot in front of the other for you to see your desire come true. Now when I first heard of synchronicity and how it applies in the law of attraction, I was like, okay, great. But how do I get that to happen? All the while I'm again freaking out about the whole you need to be detached thing. Honestly, the detachment idea was just too much for my brain to grasp. But luckily, synchronicity happened and I got it. And now I want to give this precious jewel that I have to you. So here's how I began to see and understand synchronicity in my own life. I began to study the concept of consciousness, being present, and my ground state or my true self. Which, wow, when I first started to look into this stuff, I really began to wonder what the heck I had gotten myself into. But it helped, profoundly. 
because my studies and journey into understanding consciousness, being present, and my true self, I now understand how detachment works and is and how it is important for um, manifesting when it comes to the law of attraction, as well as how to notice when synchronicities begin to happen in your life. For detachment to work, you must first understand that you as a person, or personality if you will, you have many desires, even a desire to complain and be negative. But your true self has only one desire, and that is to enjoy the experience of life. Once you have grasped this, detachment happens naturally and easily. You also begin to know the synchronicities play out right in front of you. But there is one more important key to it all, the true self. How do you find it? First, I must say this. I do believe there's a limit to how in-depth you can go to discovering it, at least while you're conscious. But here's the way in which I have and am discovering my true self. By learning the art of being present. Yes, I do believe it's an art and for me it has and it's taking some time because there are always things that come along that appear to be an emergency or something that really hits a nerve and I have a hard time letting it just carry me away. But the most beautiful and precious thing is when I don't allow this to happen. The times in which there are all sorts of stressors or triggers, if you will. And I'm able to remain calm, unfreaked out, not feeling like I absolutely must react and engage. In these stress moments, this is when you get to truly know your true self and its power. By just being present and non-reactive, you will notice that there's this little part of you that actually enjoys drama and acting out. And once you acknowledge that there is that part of you, you can start to train it to take a back seat while you choose to apply space and time between your reaction, allowing you to make a decision that you know is not rooted in fear, anxiety, anger, desperation, etc. All the emotional trigger points that lead us to live outside of presence and in a state of constant reaction. When you are able to allow your true self to take the driver's seat of your life, detachment becomes easy and synchronicities begin to happen much more often. So my friends, I made this video to encourage all of you who are on a law of attraction journey to relax, enjoy this life, spend more time in the position of an observer instead of a reactor, but most of all, allow the you who is experiencing it to come into this life more fully, allowing it to experience and observe the good and the bad. My belief is that before we came into this world, we had excitedly agreed to experience both. Well, that's all the time I have for today. But until next time, let's agree to live happy one moment at a time.